Yeah, we got him. He's like, yeah, they did. No. Uh, he's like 50 yards away from us right now. So he's yeah. Alexis and Tom, so. you know if you got shot? You want us? I don't know. I don't know if he did or not. The best place uh, to meet me is like back at really, the, Toledo SWAT. the central location there. At the, okay. It's the SWAT team say, driving by. Toledo SWAT right there. But we're going to go this way. Hold on. So I can keep it on him, okay? Just see. I don't know if he was. We'll have to ask to see if he was. Um, I can't tell you why he's screaming right now. I'll have to wait for the update from the state troopers. Hey, uh. I'm trying to hold the phone still, Pam. It's raining out here. Turn this way and we go this way. See if you can. Sorry, the phone is so shaky. I just wanted to. So if you're just tuning in, I just want you to know I'm in Finley, and uh, which is Hancock County. Uh, this person that you're looking at right now that's in handcuffs is a suspect who's accused of allegedly struggling with a trooper, um, went, allegedly went for his weapon. The weapon went off. The trooper was shot and injured, taken to a local hospital. This suspect here allegedly took off from the scene, dumped his vehicle, Investigators found it about 2.15 this morning and they have been looking for him ever since. And they just found him.
Okay, good. Thank you. Ooh, jeez. We know that the suspect is um, from the Michigan area. Well, you can see the troopers are going to collect that evidence so that they can obviously use it for this case. Can you call Phil, please? Tell him to stop calling me. I'm sure we're going to have an update soon here um, exactly how they came across him. You know, if they were tipped off by a neighbor, if there was another officer that saw him, uh, we should have an update here in the next few minutes, I would believe. What? This is him right here. Okay, they've taken them away. Um, but I'm gonna just show you the scene here where we, uh, we actually uh, had to follow the officers and SWAT guys. team over here. Uh, and this is the area. I can't give you the location yet because I don't know, but we're about to get an update here in a few minutes. So give me one second here. You wanna grab a mic? Yeah, I'll be right here. Okay, okay. You're right there? That's fine.
I'm sorry I didn't identify myself. Hi, it's good to see you. I'm Matt. Yes. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you Matt. You look, you look so the officers will give us a um, update here in a few seconds. No, I just didn't know if that was marked or not. I was gonna just go ahead point the point it to the ground. <laughs> if it was marked, I didn't know if it was an undercover, you know. So I figured I would just point it to the ground. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna. I will. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do it live so we can get the quick interview with him, okay? So they can have that too at the station and stuff like that. So. Yeah, we were right behind him. Hang on. Hold on a second. Yeah. Is it on there for me? Okay. We're on. Check, check. Hang on. Okay. I'm ready when you are. You good? Yep. Okay, so uh, let's um, start Let's from the beginning. Obviously, this uh, last night, there was a traffic stop, right? So last night, around 11.05, one of our troopers from the Finley Post stopped this gentleman for a speed violation. And uh, he had asked the gentleman to step out of the vehicle. And uh, that's when the, the fight happened. And uh, the troopers got him discharged and the trooper was shot. There was a struggle over that gun? There, it appears there was a struggle over that gun. What happened next? Um, after the trooper was shot, the suspect fled the scene. Um, obviously, troopers, our law enforcement partners from uh, Finley, Sheriff's Office, everybody responded. Uh, we started looking for him overnight. Uh, we found his vehicle about three hours later and established some of the perimeter around that area. Uh, this morning, our AD team responded with one of our helicopters, and uh, we worked in concert with our ground units to locate the suspect. Pretty exhaustive search. Uh, just here about 15 minutes ago, a tip came in that somebody saw him. So obviously when we all left that area we were earlier that everybody responded over here in this area and subsequently. Like I saw them line the whole street and um, was he inside a barn? What happened? Did we hear a... I'm not sure where they, uh, they got him at, um, but what's important is that we got him. Was there a shot? I heard them screaming, you know, put your hands up, put your hands, show us your hands. Was there a shot? Was he injured? He, he was injured. He had injury in his hand. Uh, he'll be evaluated, uh, make sure that, you know, by medical professionals, make sure he's going to be safe too. Um, we understand that he has a um, long history of um, encounters with police officers. Well, I mean, based on this uh, situation happened last night, um, obviously he wasn't afraid to challenge the trooper or law enforcement officer. Um, obviously, that trooper ultimately got shot. Um, he, he's expected to survive. He's doing well. Um, but yeah, uh, what's great is that we found him today, and it was to help with everybody. Uh, the patrol, uh, the sheriff's office, the police department, the citizens here in Finley, uh, by calling and tips and people. And that's great. That's great. How many total guys did you think had involved first? Departments and first? The number of bodies you're looking for? There was a lot of departments that came. Um, I think you saw some people here today. Two of the police department came down. Uh, Pastoria, uh, I guess the sheriff's office, Finley PD. Um, you know, when something like this happens, we all come together. Um, because the job we take seriously. We take, you know, serious to safety of the community and have one of our own injured is, uh, luckily can turn out worse. How is the trooper doing? Last I uh, knew he was doing better. Or, um, he's doing good. Obviously he got shot, but there is, it's not life threatening. So he's expected to survive. Mm -hmm. Did the investigators, um, all the officers over there, authorities, did they say anything? Did he say anything to them when he was arrested? Uh, not that I'm aware of. So what happens next? He goes back to the... He'll be checked out medically and uh, he'll file charges and he'll be incarcerated. Um, you know, the main thing is that, like I said, it's a big thank you to the community to help us locate this final person. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, sir.